Right. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to disable game objects through code. This is uh, good for making coins and stuff disappear after you collect them or you make monsters disappear or gates and keys and stuff like that. So we're going to make two no, all we need is one game object. So go to game object, create a 3D object cube. And then we're going to go to project, create folder. You might already have a folder for your scripts, but I'm using a, bl a blank project. So my scripts. I'm going to right click on the folder and create a C sharp script. Call it a disable objects. All right. We're going to make a public game object instead of like a variable. You're you're uh, declaring a game object. You're not calling a uh, declaring a string int or nothing like that. You're, you can do this stuff. It's not just the basic um, variables. You can use controllers. You can use rigid bodies, lights, cameras, stuff like that as well. So public game object uh, my cube. And then in start, we're going to make the cube disappear. So you would pick your game object, which is my cube. Do the dot. And then type set active. Open parentheses. And put false. Close all parentheses. And end it with a semicolon. So pretty much what this is, is a empty slot that you can drag a game object to. And when the game starts, it will pick my cube and turn it off. So let's save that. Alright, make sure you put the script on an object that is not the cube. I'll just put it on camera and you'll see that you now have a slot that's empty and you can drag the cube object onto it because it's public and it's a game object and these are game objects so I run the game and the cube disappeared All the code is doing is really turning off this tick mark. So to do the opposite, it's pretty easy. You just put true. Terrible typing. Save it. So say you turn off the cube. Like you, you collect it, a key, and it disappeared. But for some reason, you want the key to come back. You would just, it would do it because you're using true instead of false. And there you go, it appears. So to disable game objects through code, and then turn them back on, it is my key about set active true. And my cube dot set active false. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. So please subscribe. I'll be doing more content. Thank you.